Two years ago, I sold a domain name by accident for over $1,000. I know it sounds crazy by accident, but here's what happened. So I used to have a real estate brokerage company, ForefrontRE.com was our domain name. We no longer needed it. I didn't know anything about selling a domain on the aftermarket, so I just clicked a button in my GoDaddy account that said uh, list on Afternick. Time went by, months later, maybe seven or eight months later, I got an email that I thought was a spam email saying like, hey, your domain sold, um, you know, we need your bank account details to deposit the money. And I thought it was a scam to be honest because I'd completely forgotten about it, but I sold a domain name. Now why I did not get excited about the opportunity of domain names at that point I'm not sure because domain names are the entrance into the internet, right? Any project that we build has to be built on a domain name. And it's like a lot. It's like a real estate lot in real estate. To build a home or a property, you have to have the lot. The lot's the domain name. So I decided to start myself a challenge. I'm diving deep into domains and I am finding a lot. I'll tell you about it. So it all started a few weeks back when I met this guy in my home city that had flipped a bunch of domains while he was in college. And I got super excited. I was like, yes, I love this. I don't know why I'm not into it. So over the last two weeks, I've gone down the rabbit hole. A week ago, I got approached by a guy on Twitter. I, I didn't even get approached. It's something that came across my feed. It said, hey, looking to sell um, 20 domains or 20 of my domains uh, right now. DM me for a list. So I sent him a message. I got a list. I ended up buying five of his domain names. The guy lives in Spain. I PayPal'd him money. And now, cool, I'm off to the races. And I learned about Dynadot, which is a new domain registrar. It's a place where you can buy domain names. And so if you want to follow me during this um, domain flipping challenge, you'll learn what I learned. Like as I dive in, you're going to learn what I learned. So, but my goal is to take $200 of investment and see how quickly, how quickly can I turn that into $2,000? And it's almost like a case study. I mean, I'm gonna do this long-term anyway. I'm gonna, you know, I'm always buying domains and holding on to them for projects, but now I'm gonna be buying them with the idea of, wow, this would be a great project for someone else. And so that's kind of what I'm doing now. And so that has since led me to find out about Spaceship, which is this basically probably the new domain registrar that I'm going to use. And when I say domain registrar, it's like GoDaddy, where you, which most people have probably heard of. I used to use GoDaddy in the past to buy my domain names. Uh, they give you cheat the first year and then it's like 20 bucks after that. Well, I figured out that um, there's better deals. So pork bun, I like, I have most of my domain names here, but now my new favorite is Spaceship. So Spaceship is owned by Namecheap. Uh, what they're building out is really cool and um, the best prices. Yeah, so I'm gonna be buying all of my future domains on Spaceship. So now I'll, I will have accounts at multiple multiple companies and that's okay. Like if you're going to get into, you know, if I'm going to get into this game and expand uh, and this become like a, a business uh, income stream, I'm gonna have accounts at multiple places. That's just kind of kind of how it's gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on um, some domains here. I'm gonna let you look at them, look at some of them with me. So these are domains that I currently own at different spots. And so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to choose domains for this challenge. I'm gonna choose 20 in total. Um, I'm just saying, so I actually hand, well, I didn't hand register all of these domains. By hand register, it means that like, I they were available for me to purchase. I, I think I have some killer domain names. Um, I spent hours and hours and hours and hours searching, researching, trying to find available domains. And these are what I ended up with. So I have two-sided approach to what I'm going to be doing. One is, try to get premium listings on, uh, there's a new website that I just found called adam.com. Adam.com used to be squad help, but basically they're helping startups like launch with a great name and brand. And so if you have a premium domain name, you can get a listing with them. I just got a domain name approved to be a listing with them. Now I have no idea how long this may take. It may take a year for me to sell 
Maybe it takes longer than that for me to sell. So bounce hive was just, um, so let me make that one yellow, was just approved as a premium listing on Adam. If I sold that one domain name, I would, I would make the money that I'm trying to do. But the question is, I don't know how long that's gonna take. So what I think that we have to do, what I have to do and what I need your help with in this challenge is that like, I'm gonna have to pick names that I can do outreach. I can reach, uh, I can reach out to companies that have a similar name and I'm gonna do an example of that here in this video. We're gonna kind of walk through one of those examples. So I've gotta pick those. So up to, up to 20, I guess it'd be like 19 or 20, I don't know, that would equal $200 um, of cost. Um, so maybe I won't pick them all like right here live. I do know one that I feel pretty confident that I should pick is this guy, Pillar Builders. I picked that up and I think it's a great name. I'll tell you what, let me pick a few and, and I'll tell you what my thinking is. So another one would probably be Skyline Roof Care. Now I'll talk through my thinking. So. It'd be a good name for a company, right? So a, a new, the, the, hard, the thing is it's hard to reach out to an existing, probably existing company and say, hey, um, but Pillar Builders, there's gonna be companies that already have that name. So Harbor Point Homes would probably fit that scenario. So let's highlight that one. Some of these I'm already like, wondering why did I why did I buy these actually? Like it's, it's that's an interesting thing about domain names. You'll, um, I'm gonna have to be careful about now this is probably my favorite one, cardfanatics.com. I will hold that for a long time until I sell it to the right to the right person. So those are like the biggest ones. So like, let me tell you, I, I really like some of these down here. Uh, Prosper Ben, I like. Frothy Finance, I like. I just don't know, I don't know who to target, right? Like I don't know who to reach out to to sell it. But Pillar Builders, this is a perfect example. Let's just go, let's just do this. Pillar, Pillar Builders. Let me just Google, I'm a, and I'm gonna show you what I'm what I'm talking about here. Pillar construction, pillar building company. Okay, so I'm gonna look at these. So pillar homes, pillar homes. Okay, so it looks like a nice wow, like a nice custom yeah custom home builder. May or may not be interested, but if they get online online marketing, they may be interested in pillar builders. Okay, that's very possible. Um, okay, I'm just click on this first example here, pillar construction. Pillar construction, look at this. This is a big, probably, is this like an international company? Like, who are these guys? Jeez. Pillar construction. So, this is probably, I don't know. It's probably, I'm just gonna throw out a number, $100 million company. Maybe it's bigger than that, maybe it's a billion dollar company. So when I Google pillar building company, pillar construction pops up. Let me click on this one too, P pillar building solutions. All right, so pillar building solutions, pillar, maybe these this, these guys would be a great, a great fit. Now, why would pillar construction, now if I can get to the right person at the company, why would they want to own pillarbuilders.com you know they already have the brand pillar construction they may they may not want to change anything there it's not that they're necessarily going to change their rebranding but what i think they might want to do is say well let's secure that there's no pillar builders let's secure that name so that like anyone that types in pillar builders um, dot com gets gets redirected to us like this is this is the way that i'm thinking about these and the way that i'll approach these folks. Now I've got to think about like how I'm going to do it, but I'll, I'll send personalized messages, not like mass marketing. I've gotten messages before myself from people that say like, Hey, I, we own this website. You may be interested. And it's like, no, I'm not. So I need, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that information and like do the opposite. So the way that I've been reached out to in the past, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm pretty dang pumped about this domain name challenge. I hope you follow along. Watch this video next. Let's connect, comment, let me know which domains you think, what should I target, what can I do? Have you done this? Give me some advice, thanks.